Hey there, so we're back again and let's get to this battle. Okay, pet key, pet key three. Cool. Uh, looking at his whole team, Rotom's like winning. Uh, Rotom checks basically everything in his team, maybe except Genesect. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna lead with Rotom. That's unfortunate. The U-turn here is ridiculously obvious, so I kind of just need to go into Thornicles to get some damage off on him. And of course he crits, <coughs> but I get damage off on him, which is nice. He'll probably go into T-Flame or Greninja. I um, don't know which one. We'll go into one of them. If he goes into T-Flame, uh, I'll just go into Rotom. So, when you're ready, Pateki 3, that'd be great. I kind of want to start the timer, but I don't like being a bitch. I'm going to start it. <clears throat> oh, you know that feeling like when you got something in your throat and you just try to get rid of it and it just doesn't work? Oh, hating it. Hating it right now. Oh, dude, come on. Obviously, you are going to go with your Talent Flame or your Greninja. Cloyster does shit all. Azumarill does less, and Mandibuzz isn't going to do jack shit to my Ferrothorn. Because, like, the other day, so good, I was practicing with this team, and uh, went up against a Blissey, and the guy thought, oh, because my Blissey's slow, your Ferrothorn's going to do shit all to it. Ferrothorn decided to leech seed, and this Blissey had Flamethrower, and I was like, hello? Um, and so he's Flamethrower, he's doing about 40% each time, and I go with leech seed, and leech seed's taking back about 30 percent HP back to me, which is ridiculous. I kind of want to go into Excalibur, because I know that I could take it, but the safe play is Rotom. He's going to SD, which doesn't scare me too much, because he's going to have to stay in then. He's committed to the play, so I know I can live a hit, and I can just kill him with Hydro. So this is risky. He's going to go for Brave Bird. I knew I could live that, and that's from a Life Orb Talent Flame, and then I could just Hydro kill him. So, boom! That is a huge threat out of there. This now means that my Ferrothorn only fears Genesect. The rest of his team can do jack shit. So, I'm confident that once I get rid of Mandibuzz, though, rocks are going up. And if rocks can go up before that thing comes in, life is good. Okay. I just need to think about this a second. Um, I think Ferrothorn. But he might be expecting that. And if he just goes for the U-turn, it's going to do shit all to my Mandibuzz. Uh, I know you turn from here with Kill Rotom, so I'm going to go to Mandibuzz. <laughs> that does nothing. Uh, I'd say Greninja is his best choice now against Mandibuzz. Um, don't know if he'll kill me or not. I don't think so. And, um... Hmm. Cloyster? Okay. Um... I kind of want to go for the foul play. Because obviously it's close as fast, and obviously no one's not going to be able to break his um, uh, knockoff in case he has white. Uh, yeah, knockoff in case he has that, like white herb or whatever. I still spear. I swing 11% each time. Oh, that crit could matter. Does that crit matter? No. Oh. This is the King's Rock set. Oh, what a dick. I'm going to have to sack my mandibuzz because. Nothing else can do anything right now. This course, it's obviously back speed. Oh, can't believe that. So, since I know he's got the King's Rock, though, that means that I'm more than happy going to my Lucario. Because I know for a fact <clears throat> that I am not only faster, but I can Oko a Cloister with an Aura Sphere. If he wants to stay in, his Cloister's dead. He might go for the Asha, just hoping... But also, basically, anything he switches in dies, except for Azumarill, which is still going to take a shitload of damage because it's got no special defense. They should do a fair bit, because this is Mega Lucario. Crit, but it was resisted. So that gets me thinking that Flash Cannon... Yeah, Flash Cannon should be able to finish it from here. Yeah. Yeah. So the crit mattered, guys. The crit did matter. Um, 
and also it's great because I'm pretty sure from this range, Genesect is in trouble as well. I'm not going to go out and say my Lucario beats Genesect, but once Genesect's gone, Ferrothorn, um, hello. Uh, also, knowing that this Cloister, <coughs> I do need Lucario probably for Cloister, just because I know now that Cloister isn't the classic Focus Sash set. So he's got the special attack increase, but I know that I'm going to be faster, so I kind of just want to go straight for the Aura Sphere. What? Okay, he's got a Scarfed Genesect. That's good for me. So he's got a special attack boost. But now that I know that he's a Scarfed Genesect, I can take most of his team with Garchomp. Yeah. Um... Uh, I'm just going to go straight for the EQ. If he switches into Man Buzz, that's fine. Uh, I'm scaring off a Genesect, which is okay. I really needed my Lucario to survive, which sucks. I didn't even think his Genesect was scared. I should have thought about that. I just sacked Rotom. Um, and then I could have locked him into a really bad move, switch into Garchomp. Yeah, Mandy. Okay, that's okay. Um... My best play against Mandibuzz right now is actually my Rotom. I need to pull that screen down a bit. Because foul play won't kill me. And I'm hoping now that I'm faster. Really hoping. If I'm faster, <coughs> I'm pretty much got game. Because <coughs> the last thing he needs is Rotom go back to full health. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Because, like... He's doing shit all to me with the foul plays. So, I'm just going to go for the Vault Switch. Because I know I'm faster. And I'm going to go into Ferrothorn. And then set up rocks. And slowly kill him. That does way too much for Manibus. So he must be a physically defensive set. So I'm going out to my Ferrothorn. He's going to taunt my Ferrothorn. Which I'm not too fussed about, really. Like, it was a smart play. He must have known the Ferrothorn was coming in. But still, Gyroball's going to do a shitload of damage to this Mandibuzz. Like, I'm not saying Mandibuzz is super quick, but Ferrothorn is so slow. And Mandibuzz has like base like 70 speed. Cloyster's going to get hit. So Ferrothorn doesn't really care about Cloyster. Like, if I'm going to sack anything, I might as well just sack Ferrothorn. He's obviously slower, so Cloyster can go in with his Icicle Spears, but... Like, they're doing 7% each time. So, close, uh, uh, Ferrothorn can take a couple of these. Like, two rounds of this shit. And Gyrobor, boom! So, this close is dead to rights. I can come in with Excalibur and uh, finish him. And then the only real threat left in his team is Genesect, which I can lock into a move and finish. So, here's Genesect. He's pretty quick. So, now I'm going to get him. So, my taunt's over. I know that he might get locked into a move. So, I'm going to go straight into Rotom. Straight into that beautiful washing machine. Who's putting in work right now. Uh, Rotom isn't the key to defeating Genesect. I've got Cloyster dead to rights. Mandibuzz dead to rights. And this Genesect is getting very close. So basically once Mandibuzz is dead. His whole team is taken out by Garchomp. Um, except for Cloyster. Worried about Cloyster. You know coming in and just being an absolute bitch. Uh, with the Ice Shard. So I don't want to risk that with my Garchomp. That's why I've got Excalibur. Um, so he can come in, uh, he won't be able to kill the Genesect, but if Genesect didn't have a special attacking boost, and have the attacking boost on that flamethrower, Egg Slash could survive, activate weakness policy, and kill it off with a Shadow Ball. Greninja is seriously not even being considered by me at the moment. Um, I'm going to go into Rotom, and there was a flamethrower, so we all saw that coming. I am just going to go straight for a Will-O-Wisp. Because anything that gets hit by this will is not going to appreciate it. Um, and if it's Mandibuzz, then enter Garchomp, basically. If it's Cloyster, then I'm stoked. It's Mandibuzz. That's good. That's very good, actually, from here. Oh, my lord. Okay, um, I'm just going to Volt Switch again. Out to Thornicles, and that could be the end of Mandibuzz. Great. So now I am in an incredibly good position, because after I sack Mandibuzz, I'm going to sack my own Ferrothorn 
to tempt his Genesect out to go for the Flamethrower. And once he's done that, I can go into Garchomp and EQ anything that comes in. So either Genesect or Greninja would die. Cloyster comes in, and instead of sacking my Garchomp, I'll switch out to Rotom, uh, who can take the hits for days, and try and get off a Volt Switch before Cloyster attacks him. And even if Cloyster kills him, Aegislash Slash comes out, kills Cloyster, because it's got no health left. Um, so from here, I basically got the match. I only some horrible like crits and stuff could stop me, so he's running out of time to make his move, but I've basically got this one in the bag. Can't really see him finding a way to beat me from here. I'm not saying that in a cocky way, I'm just saying it in a natural, factual way, because this Genesect has 53% health left. I can easily kill it with a Garchomp Earthquake from there, because I'm adamant natured. Greninja is too frail, and knowing most Greninja sets, yeah, it's probably not going to be able to live that. So, here goes the plan. Ferrothorn. He goes for Foul Play, which is a bad move by him. Because now he's going to die to his burn, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So that was a bad move. He would have survived, and it could have been a little bit of a problem in my plans. But I was hoping. I, I was thinking he was going to go for the Taunt, or... Yeah, something else. So I'm going to tempt out his Greninja. Not his Greninja, his Genesect. I'm hoping to tempt out his Genesect. Which will get that special attacking boost, but I don't care. I'm pretty sure my Garchomp outspeeds it anyway. And I'm not going to die to a plus two flamethrower anyway. So, come on down. Um, yeah, Genesect. Beautiful. I am just going to go for the Stealth Rock. Uh, because I can. And if he wants to go for the flamethrower, I've locked him into it. And that's the game. So, I'm feeling pretty good about this, actually. Like, Ferrothorn... Yeah, he goes for the U-turn. This is perfect. Oh, this plan. This plan, guys. So, he obviously thought, oh, no, he's going to go straight and rotom and then, like, lock me in. Nah. Nah, bruh. I'm going to go for Stealth Rock. And he's probably hating me right now. But I don't care. So, yeah, Ferrothorn can get sacked. That's okay. I'm just going to Gyro Ball, thinking that I can live, actually, maybe one of these hits. If everything's doing 7% like it was last time, even with the King's Rock, I might not get flinched. So, you know, whatever. He's going to go for Shell Smash. Dude! Oh, my God. Did you think I was going to switch? Oh, there goes his closer. That's game. That is game from here. Everything dies to Garchomp. Everything. If that Greninja is Sash, it just lost its Sash. Like... Genesect comes out, but he's screwed because he takes Stealth Rock damage from 41%, so he goes down to 29%. He gets a special attack, don't matter. Don't matter, bro. I'm just going to go straight for the Gyro Ball. I have no other reason to go for anything else. He'll have to go for the Flamethrower if he wants to kill me. And he will. But it don't matter. Um, I'm just going to go straight into my Garchomp. And it should be game from here, guys. Uh, the EQ should definitely kill him. And even if he's faster, that flamethrower ain't killing me. So, pretty sure I've got it wrapped up from here. Yep, that's plus one flamethrower doing nothing to this Garchomp. And now he's got left his Greninja. So, I'm pretty sure he's consigned that it's game here. So, this team so far, with the battles we've done, has definitely been holding its own. So, I'm Scarfed. I'm pretty sure his Greninja isn't Scarfed, so I can finish it off here. And there you go. So, good game, Patiki 3. So, this team is really starting to show me, like, how good it is. I am actually going to give um, the MVP this time around. Uh, Lucario got a kill on that, but then just died straight away, which is a bit sad. Uh, Genesect, yeah, Greninja, Talonflame, Closer, Mepa, How'd that die? Oh, yeah, Rotom. Um, see, it was kind of a team effort. I kind of want to give it to Ferrothorn, though, because Ferrothorn did work in this battle. So I'm going to give the MVP to Therathorn, uh, Therathorn, <laughs> Therathorn, uh, and we're going to go on to the next battle. So peace out.